Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited. We are going to look at a beautiful A-Line Bob by Godiva Secret Wig. Her name is Sabrina and I have her in seven colors. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. This wig is a workhorse. She is beautiful. She lasts. She um, will be there for you anytime you need her. And she is a true shake and go bit, uh, wig. And I've got her in seven colors. Her name is Sabrina and she is by Godiva Secret Wigs. She comes in um, about, let's see, 16 different unrooted colors and then she comes in six rooted colors but she is a typical standard a-line bob and she's got some beautiful fringe on the back of the neck cut bangs into her already and then a sleek long side perfect for work perfect for chic um events it's just she is just an all-around great plop and go shake and go whatever you want to call it kind of a wig and i'll be going ahead and i'll try on all the different colors but what i have here is dark chocolate which is kind of an ashy um not ashy but neutral to cooler brown then i have coffee latte which has rich caramel um, highlights through it. It is a warm brown. This is Auburn Sugar Rooted, and it is got little bits and hints of red in it. Isn't that beautiful? And little gold highlights. She comes in a beautiful, beautiful red. This is called Irish Spice. Look at that beautiful red. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so a variety of brunettes and two reds. Then in the blondes, we have a strawberry blonde called Maple Sugar Rooted. And she's got kind of a strawberry blonde hint to her. This is an example of one of their rooted blondes. This is Creamy Toffee. And then she comes in several silvers. This one happens to be Silver Stone. Okay, before we try her on, let's take a look at her cap construction. So this young lady is a basic cap construction, all closed lace on the top crown and front, a basic one half inch velveteen band on the front for the hairline for comfort there. We have closed ear tabs with metal stays in them and they're significant metal stays. They actually, they're this long. Those metal stays go all the way from the edge up here, all the way down to the edge down there so they're very significant we have buckle adjusters on the right and left of the nape and a standard one half inch nape with the velveteen fabric back here open wefts all the way around and excellent coverage with the number of rows of wefts okay so what we want to do first always is to freshen up our wigs let's go ahead and brush from the crown in the front back just to loosen up and shake her up. What I have on today is Diana in um, Frosted Taupe from Godiva Secret Wig. She's a beautiful lace front. And so let's try her on. Okay, this is Silverstone. So here we go. We just kind of comb those edges down. And that's all we needed to do. Of course, the bangs are a little bit on the long side. You're able to trim them if you like. I would suggest though, that before you trim them, that you do something along the lines of this kind of treatment. We pull the bangs back and crease them and hold them there for about 10, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. This is a shout out to Patty, Patty's Pearls. She taught me this on her videos. And it is a really a great idea. What that does, it helps to curve your bangs out away from your forehead so it doesn't collect makeup and oil. And it makes it look more styled rather than flat. Okay. And then of course, you know, depending on where you like to wear your 
hairline. So this young lady can be can be combed from the left, parted on the left to the right, or from the right to the left. Let me do my spin. Okay, look at this cute girl. Look at this. She is darling. Oh my goodness. We could just about have her in every color of the rainbow. And oh, what a great addition to your wig wardrobe. Isn't this cute? She's very, very cute. And of course, you can fluff up a little bit more, add a little bit of uh, height with some extra teasing if you like. Even coming over across this other direction, add a little bit more height. Oh, she looks great and ready to go no matter what, doesn't she? And look at the fringe on the back of the neck. Isn't that pretty? It's very, very nicely done. It's not overdone. It's not heavy. But she has this beautiful A-line that makes her a very classic, classic bob. But very stylish. Oh, my gosh. And what would she be like with, of course, ad band? Oh, of course. Why not? Yes, very cute. Very, very cute. Oh, and of course, let's take a look. Let's compare. Let's compare these two colors. This is chocolate, dark, or dark chocolate, and this is coffee latte. Can you see the differences? This is a little less warm, the dark chocolate is. It's a very neutral brown, but it doesn't have any red in it. Now, of course, Coffee Latte has a lot more warmth and then has some golden highlights in there. And she has the same exact hairstyle, court hair cut. This is a workhorse. I, my clients love this particular style and um, they're beautiful. They're just beautiful. And then of course, in the gray, it's just so cute. You can wear it behind your ears very very classic the bangs are thick enough to where the wefts don't show nothing in the top shows and even through the hairline there's enough bangs to cover so that that stop start line but there again you could use a powder to soften that line if you wanted to and of course with my bio hair being gray this is a great match for me I mean, I can just wear her and pull her behind my ears and it's, it looks so natural. So, and this is exactly my work style that I used to wear from my bio hair. Isn't that cute? But anyway, so what color should I try? Let's try on the red one, okay? This is Irish Spice. Oh my goodness. Isn't this something? Look at this. Just right on, ready to go. Take a look. Beautiful. There's nothing to be done with this girl. Nothing, you don't have to do a thing. She's a ready to go workhorse, honestly, and she will last you a long time um, because there's nothing to give you friction frizz along the neck, along the back. This is going to be probably your longest lasting wig nearly in your in your wardrobe but isn't this a beautiful red look at that it's got blondes and darker reds lighter reds the highlighting and this is not a rooted color i don't believe wait a minute yep it is excuse me <laughs> she's a rooted so this is irish spice rooted but oh my gosh what a beautiful color. If you are gray and you are um, thinking that you would like to try some color, usually people who wear gray or have gray bio hair can transition to red hair very, very easily. And so, you know, changing into something like this might be a little drastic. You can do it. Or maybe even switching to something that's not quite 
as red red or orange red but something in the auburn shades now this is the um auburn sugar rooted you can see the rooted areas there let's go ahead and put her on and we'll take a look at that color isn't that gorgeous but oh so cute how fun okay this is auburn sugar so you can still see there's hints of red hints of red but it's tamed down a little bit. And if you're not quite ready for red, red, but you love the auburn colors, um, this is a beautiful color. Let's get close in so that you can see the color sheen. Look at this. Beautiful color. The color blends of Godiva Secret wigs are beautiful. And of course, the beautiful A-line This, this is an excellent wig, excellent little wig. Put her behind your ears, bring her all forward, pull her up on top, sleek her back. There's lots and lots of opportunity for this young lady, really. Yep. Yeah. And the bangs are, are long enough to where they cover. They, there's a lot of great coverage. Speaking of coverage, let's take a look. Let's see how far. Okay, so see, it covers a lot of my bio hair on the sides. Let's see how it does over here. Yep, see? Covers a lot. Very good coverage. So you really don't have to, I mean, I wouldn't even necessarily have to treat my sideburns if I didn't want to. Um, but if I'm going to be putting my fingers in my hair and pulling it back behind my ears, yes, definitely I would put, I would go ahead and treat them. Here she is in Creamy Toffee Rooted. Cute, cute, cute. And of course, this would be a perfect one for me because my features are dark and I wear dark eyelashes and brown, um, brown eyebrows. With the darker roots, it makes sense, doesn't it? But another really cute choice and this is the color maple sugar rooted lots of lots of kind of hazelnutty color in this that strawberry blondish color and if you're looking for the very classic brunette dark chocolate is a great choice And finally, a softer brunette in coffee latte with the caramel highlights throughout. But this is Sabrina. Sabrina, one of the classic bobs, A-line from Godiva Secret Wigs. Okay, well, I think... I'm going to call that good. I'm going to take these girls outside and you'll see some pictures of them outside in the outdoor lighting. Okay, so here are our girls outdoors. It is a high cloudy day, so we have diffused lighting. We'll start with the color of dark chocolate over here, which is a, a dark brown color highlighted, or I mean uh, with cool undertones. And we have coffee latte which is another same dark brown with highlighted with medium brown and golden blonde. The next color I show here is Auburn Sugar Rooted. Dark Auburn with golden blonde highlights. And that is a rooted color and there's, a col there's her roots. She's very, very pretty. Highlights, low lights, everything. Okay. Then we have Irish Spice, which is cherry red blended with light copper. So you can see there's quite a bit of redness in that in comparison to the Auburn Sugar. So you're going to get these kinds of definitive differences when you sit them next to each other. But when they stand alone by themselves, they are dynamic and beautiful. Yeah, that is. And I will have to say that these colors are showing up brighter on my video than they are in real life okay down here we have a silver stone which is silver and gray with white around the face 
it naturally goes down to a darker color in the back. <clears throat> this is Creamy Toffee R. We have a rooted color, so there's her roots. Done very nicely, not overdone, not underdone, and so anyway, but this color is chunky blend of blonde and very light golden blonde. So, and then this one happens to be Maple Sugar R. Now they consider her a red color. She's light reddish brown with subtle light gold blonde highlights. But she's a little bit more bronzier and she does have a dark root too. So those are our girls and the outdoor lighting. Well, no matter what color you choose of this young lady, you're going to find a winner no matter what. This is a classic and uh, she deserves a place in everyone's wig wardrobe. So thanks again for joining me today. Hope to uh, see you again and in Kokoko's, in Kokoko, Kokoko. <laughs> I hope to see you again in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.